Yeah, it's Hami Gaming back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to uh, play some newer gameplay of a newer character I made. So I'm going to show you where to level and what to level and how to level and what to do. So here are my skills. Just basic bread and butter skills to get me through the day. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to rent something called a golden fleece. This area that I'm going to be taking you guys is for like levels 5 through 10 possibly. So this is where the golden fleece is located. Right here. It's going to cost one crown. So what this does is it regenerates about 100 HP per tick. So you don't have to worry about potions. You don't have to worry about getting like healing spells and all that stuff. So right now we're in Minath City. So from here, we're going to go down and we're going to go to a place, a, a pyramid that's called Ziggurat. So the good thing about this golden fleece is uh, the bonus attribute is, is called fly and it lets you fly over water and other terrain so that's a bonus on top of the HP regeneration. Alright so um, from Minneth City we're going to go straight east. So I hope I don't bore some of you veterans out there. But this video is mainly for new peeps looking for places to train and level up. So this is once you get to this pyramid. This is Ziggurat right here. And it's full of pirates. Let's see if I have my thing equipped. Yep. Okay, wielded. Sweet. I also trained Berserk because it increases your damage by 20% if you have 20, uh, 20 trained. So right now I have 7 so my damage is increased by 7% so it's kind of like a passive skill. But the downside is if I Berserk I can't see my hit points <laughs> so I gotta be careful. Uh, you know what I forgot? Oh no. Oh no. I didn't do this video properly. I was supposed to sacrifice a sheep. So I had so I had luck on my adventures, but I forgot, totally forgot about it. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, we'll do it at the end of the video, I guess. This is one of my favorite spots to train from levels like 5 through 10. Oh, look at all this loot. Let's see if I have any aliases. Nope. Alright, uh, let's see. Alias K, get all. So every time I press K, I grab the loot. The lever here. And off we go.
but I really don't know which guild I'm going to be going into. I don't know if I should go into X-Men or Caveman. I mean, there's benefits to both. Like in the Caveman Guild, I get bonus hit points. And I can actually berserk and see my hit points. But Axeman, I could have up to like maybe 34 find weakness, which pretty much increases my critical rate, my critical hit rate. I think after like uh, level 30 on find weakness, it's it's like a 90% critical hit rate and there's always a wand that spawns here so that's why I like going here so I flip these two levers to lower this gate over here crocodiles Oh, don't want to die here. And this is also important, this item right here, map. I'll show you in a second what it does, but there's always a little secret right here, a little hidden compartment. Some more loot. level eight. Oh my god oh my god oh my oh my god I might die all right oh my god oh my god I'm poisoned oh no oh no oh, that's not bad only three hit points oh wow this dude's strong I just killed the lich at level seven. But as you can see, my hit points are regenerating by like a hundred. Well, kind of. And I'm not doing anything. It's because the golden fleece, it's so, so sweet. It's being good to me. Oh my God, oh my God, another lich. can't see the dark oh my god no no <laughs> oh my god oh my god I died let's see how much I lost out I don't think a lot how much did I lose out 400 XP for one crown I'll take it but that's ziggurat that's one of my favorite places now I'll take you to Another spot. It's called Nor. Right here. And then you got to go through this little crevice right here. And we want to go southwest. Kind of. First, we gotta go north. Alias L apply gob stopper. This is to regenerate my food level. 
The Gobstopper is uh, it's a premium item you can buy with crowns. It's pretty much like your food. If you don't want to keep going and buying food at the general stores, you can buy a Gobstopper with some crowns. So now we're going south southwest. We're gonna be looking for a little cave. Oh no, I'm stuck in a fly trap, dang it. Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, I hope I don't bore some of you veterans out there. Some of you old timers that played this game for a long time. This is mainly for uh, newer peeps. And this is the cave we're looking for. Some decent experience points in here too. Oh man, you know what we forgot? We forgot to sacrifice a sheep once again before our adventure. Oh dang it. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm just like melting through these mobs. It's because of these skills right here. Bread and butter skills right there. Let's go berserk. Oh, I gotta wait three minutes, dang it. Oh, I'm stuck in a I'm stuck in a web. Ooh, a potion. Whoa, I just one hit that griffin. Did you see that? At level seven. That's nasty. It must have been that find weakness, that critical hit rate. The worst part about going to this cave is we're going to have to climb back out. <laughs> it's going to take a minute.
Now there is a dangerous monster right here. Here he is, floating eye. He casts spells. Level nine, baby, yeah. All right, there's a little puzzle here. You gotta pick the right doors. I think it's this one. Nope, okay. So it's the top one. Top one. Oh my God, oh my God, whoa, whoa, whoa. You almost got me. All right, so top one. Top one. Oh no, it's a badass one. Oh God. Oh God. Got him. All right, now I think this one is the bottom one. Yep. Oh geez, oh geez. And then it might be the top one. Nope, oh, I messed up. It's been a while since I did this puzzle. Top one, top one, top one, bottom one, this one. All right. Now we're off. Yeah, I still can't believe I forgot to sacrifice a sheep before our adventure. God, man. For good luck, you know. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm confused right now. My movement's all messed up. But we're getting to the end of this maze right here. Now we gotta start climbing back, back up. And that's about it. That's about it for this little dungeon that gained me one one level so not bad for like levels five through ten now we just gotta climb back up I can't believe I one hit that griffin. But yeah, it's so much better to play this game with a key wireless keyboard. Like you got options under settings right here. The very last one says disable or enable keyboard. That's where you can hook it up. And you can just make aliases like I did earlier to whatever key you want. Yes, we're out. That didn't take long.
I wonder if I should try my luck on skulls. I mean, it would take some real skill to be able to take out some skulls. All right, we'll try it. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to get poisoned. Uh, charge. Charge, why am I running so slow? Oh my god, no, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost got cornered. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, I got him. I got him, baby. Let's go. Level 9, killing skulls. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I was down to 1 HP. Dude, this is so sketchy. I mean, if he hits me with a slow or paralyzed, I'm dead. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. No, I'm slowed. I'm slowed. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. Not bad. Alright, so we're on the world map right now. So if you guys remember that map I picked up right here when I was in Ziggurat. Show locations. So like whichever city you want to go to it has like the steps needed to get there so if I want to go to Burashan I have to go 277 east and 202 north that's how many steps that's like that's how many steps I need to take and this is the map and where you are so that's just like a little useful tip for newer people. Ooh. Rum. <laughs> Let's get drunk. Ah. Uh, what was I going to do? All right. I was going to show you one more spot. It's my favorite little spot. A lot of people know about it, but it's got some good loot. But before we do that, like I promised, we're going to sacrifice a the sheep. There we go. Actually, we're going to massacre him. There we go. <laughs> For good luck. Praise be the gods. May we enter with, in battle with success. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the next spot we're going to go to is a city called Faye Weston. And it's in the graveyard. Whoa. I'm having lag issues. Or maybe I got to sell stuff. Hold on. Look at that money. Not bad. Alright, so the graveyard is due north right here. I can't complete the oh no. Oh no. <laughs>
it's claimed by another person. I can't get in there, but this is how you get into it, and it's like, uh, there's a lot of monsters that drop potions and stuff, and there's like a lot of loot in here. But I guess we gotta cut it short, because there's somebody in here. <laughs> but uh, if you like this video, and you want to see more of these types of videos, with these uh, lower level players, and tutorials, and stuff like that, just let me know. But also, before I go, another like new person tip, like when you first start out, a good uh, command is the who command. And it shows you all all the list of players and like who's online. And also, if you're in a shop and you're looking for something specific, like let's say I want a potion of something, potion of speed maybe, I would type shop list and just type speed. And it'll show you if there is one. Okay, uh, try shop list. Prismatic. Whoops. No item prisma. Okay, well, let's try strength. Okay, so see there, it shows you how many potions there are. So instead of you, like, trying to see if there is one, they'll let you know if there is one. This is more useful for, like, um, armor and stuff, and weapons and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, guys, if you uh, enjoyed this video, just leave a like. I'm sorry if it was a little bored for you veterans out there, experienced players, but uh, this is something for the newbies, so I'll catch you.